welcome back warriors to another apex legends video today we are talking about gold items in apex legends okay these gold items should go with certain legends we're going to talk about it in this video which gold items go with which legends to help maximize your team's effectiveness in the apex games if you're new here be sure to subscribe so you guys get all the tips and tricks to improve your apex legends gameplay now let's jump right into the video all right guys welcome back we are here in the firing range and we're going to go over each gold item in the game what it does and what legend should it be paired best with okay so the first one we're going to talk about i have all four here we're going to talk we'll go over each one of these and we're going to talk about which legends go or which legends should have these when you find them okay now a quick disclaimer guys i try to do this in my videos to help you know breach the gap of understanding why i picked these certain things in these tier list videos and all the stuff that we do so for the purposes of this video this is if you only found one of these okay and then we're going to talk about if you find multiple but if you find just one i'm going to try to help you you know decide which of these items should these you know like which legend should these items go to okay so first up is the helmet it has fast charge maximum headshot damage reduction and then it has fast charge which is reduced tactical and ultimate charge times okay so with the helmet it reduces it for by about five seconds per ability if we look at wraith right wraith's you know l1 her q if you will 25 seconds if we go put the helmet on and it reduces it by five bam now we're at 15 seconds so the helmet reduces it by 15 seconds and as far as the charge up speed i think it just increases the percentage by a little bit okay it just kind of helps it get there a little bit faster i don't know the exact number but if we just portal Set right the portal oh wow you can't even go that far follow the tunnel all right there we go portal so we got placed. portal right one percent it charges pretty quick look how quick it charges if we take the helmet off it's a little bit slower not much it's almost like a little bit of an increase but so when it comes to the helmet guys it increases the um tactical and ultimate recharge time the helmet should go on whichever legend <clears throat> in your comp would serve this the most in the old days before pathfinder god rest his soul got nerfed into the ground with his grapple you always wanted to give pathfinder uh, the helmet because his abilities charge the fastest out of all legends in the game and even faster with the with the golden helmet so now if you have to pick legends if you depending on your comp you want whoever has the most useful abilities in their l1 their q's their you know left bumpers to have so in my opinion you want to have this with the current comps would be like wraith caustic gibby for sure you want gibby to have his dome shield as much as possible you want caustic to have his gas as much as possible um even revenant you could give it to revenant and he could silence as much as possible um these other legends i mean depending on who you have if you have a bloodhound it could go to bloodhound if you really wanted to get those scans off but they should the gold helmet should definitely go to gibby wraith caustic uh or revenant to start now if you don't have any of these legends in your comp then you can pretty much pick whoever else you want you know pathfinder is always good bloodhound is awesome watson's okay with the fences and putting them up um but once you have her ultimate down you can those things charge so fast you probably don't even need to give her the golden helmet but crypto would be good to help get get his uh, survey drone on as much as possible if you're a good crypto player but wraith caustic gibby and uh revenant are the top ones to have in this one i normally would say lifeline but you want her res more than you want her actual drone so i kind of stick her out and then if you absolutely have to guys you could give the golden helmet to pathfinder help with the zipline gun ultimate uh his grapple will it'll help him but it, it doesn't help him as much as before all right guys moving on to gold armor okay body shield absorbs 100 additional damage okay improves minor heal syringes and shield cells have improved effects what this means is that your shield cells and your syringes double so instead of using one you're using two all right so it just counts as doubling these okay whenever you use them you get double the damage right or not double the damage but double the heal off so this in my opinion is probably who you want this to go to is your beefcakes or your frontline person unless you have red evo but since we don't have red evo for the purposes of this video uh the biggest the first two right off the bat are going to be gibby and caustic okay most of these legends are on every team comp in the game and because they don't have a lot of capability and you only can survive with his dome uh being able to heal rather quickly since these guys are the biggest targets in the game 
and get shot or team shot often they get identified and they're oh hey that's a gibby everybody focus fire on gibby or caustic because they get shot the most it does help them out with their fortify uh reducing the damage income but if you have the gold armor pop in a fast shield cell to continue moving or continuing to be in the fight helps these two legends out the most so gold armor definitely goes to these two legends first if you don't have these two legends on your team next i would have it on your most aggressive players because or your most aggressive you know legends or you know if you haven't like if you have a lifeline on your team and for some odd reason this person is your most aggressive player and just leading the charge by all means definitely give it to lifeline but if not you want it on aggressive legends so you want it on bang wraith revenant you want it on pathfinder for sure bloodhound is in the mix uh, so any one of these legends are really good to have the gold armor the main purpose for that is because they're going to jump into the fight hit some shots take some shots and then they want to get back out heal really fast and then get back into the fight these are going to be your most aggressive players that you want the gold armor on okay anybody else you know if if you don't have any of those legends then you can just you know pick whoever you want and i know that it's tough because there's a lot of people that play apex and they just you know they're loot goblins and they're just going to take you know the best item armor swap it off and just keep it and not you know like divvy out the loot is evenly now the biggest part about this is just having a team if you have a team and you can communicate these things that we're talking about in this video it's going to help you out a lot but these tips that i'm giving you is to help maximize your team's combat effectiveness in apex legends so the gold armor definitely goes to gibraltar or caustic and then the gold helmet goes to wraith gibby caustic or revenant okay right off the bat <clears throat> All right, guys, coming up next is we're going to talk about both these together. We're going to be talking about the knockdown shield or self-res, as it's referred to in the community, and the gold backpack known as the guardian angel, okay? Now, these two are a pair, okay? The reason I say this is because if you have the gold backpack, which allows you to carry more items, but you revive squad mates with bonus shields and health, meaning if you have a purple shield, you're going to come back with two shield bars and half life, Okay. Now, the reason this is a pair is because you want whoever to have the gold backpack to have the self-res. Because if you get knocked in a fight and you have gold backpack and self-res, you're going to self-res with at least half life to be able to continue fighting or not instantly die when you self-res because this takes so long. But knockdown shield damage protection while knocked down is max at 750 damage can self-resurrect once the ability is consumed upon use. And then the golden backpack guys rescribes, uh revive squad mates with bonus shields and health which is two shield bars and half life okay so these are a pair now when you look at the legends first the backpack should always go to give your lifeline period there's this backpack shouldn't go to any other legend if you want to allocate these to the most effective legends in the game one these are your revivers okay dome res huge throw down the dome yeah he has gibby has the fastest res in the game gold backpack goes on him get your team up they you know they come back with half health and then they can heal and you guys can get into the fight all before that bubble goes away lifeline now with her rework guys come on i mean the fact that she could run up drop her uh res dome and then continue fighting to cover you and when you get picked up you're ready to fight again you know so these two are first and foremost and then they also pair with the knockdown now let's say you don't have gold backpack the knockdown shield can literally go on anybody there's no preference there guys i'm not going to put a preference on it you know now if there is somebody in your team who you feel like takes a lot of shots or gets knocked a whole bunch definitely give that person the knockdown shield but otherwise the knockdown shield by itself can go to anybody now gold backpack by itself again goes to give your lifeline first next up i would say would be wraith or caustic because goss caustic can drop his gas you know uh, his traps set him off or drop his ultimate the gas enemy players can't see through you know uh and then he can get the res off bang same thing she could drop the smoke get the res off and then you're healed wraith portal a, a team member out get the res off and then get right back into the fight through the portal so after gibby and lifeline it goes caustic bang and wraith okay the reason because they have the most mobility and the, and the safest ways to res your team without it after that i would say mirage if you're using a mirage especially for pubs but mirage is the last one because now that they gave him a little shine when he's resing it's not completely invisible after that if you don't have these legends in your comp and then the backpack can literally just go on whoever it's not a preference but 
Gibby, Lifeline first, then Wraith, Bang, Caustic, and Mirage in that order, or depending on whoever's in your comp. Okay, guys. Okay, now last but not least to talk about these things. Now, I said earlier in the video, guys, that if, you know, this is only talking about if you just had one. Now, if you have multiple, just apply them, go back into the timestamps of this video and apply them to the legends that would be in your comp or the next best ones. Now, if, if you have three armors, then, you know, pick and choose whichever ones you want. If you have two gold backpacks, give them to Lifeline and Gibby if you have them on your team. Excuse me, guys, and just allocate them as best as possible. So if you have multiple of these, it's really not the biggest deal. It's it's to when you only have one of these, who should the item go to that gives your team the maximum amount of combat effectiveness in the Apex games? All right, guys, I really hope that this video helped you out. I know it's going to just be a quick one, but I wanted to get this video out to kind of help you guys because these are some pro tips that you see the pros use or myself use in my gameplay. And it really does help you win those gunfights and have your team the maximum amount of combat effectiveness that you can in the apex games okay you know just like some things were designed for certain legends these gold or legendary items were designed the same exact way so i hope this video does help you out let me know down in the comment guys like which items do you put on your team comps especially for teams that are three, three stacking like which items do people prefer or which items do you give to certain legends let me know down in the comments below and if you guys are enjoying this video, please drop a big thumbs up, guys. That really does help me out. We just hit over 700 subscribers, guys. We're on our journey, our climb to 1,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate it, guys. So make sure to like and share. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and join the Warriors, guys, so you don't miss out on tips and tricks to improve your Apex Legends gameplay. And as for me, Warlock, guys, I'll see you guys in Season 6. I'll catch y'all later. Stay gaming. Peace.